You might have heard of the hero's journey. Usually it has a call to adventure, denial of the call, facing of the fears, and returning now that you've learned more. This is a famous formulation for almost every great epic story, starting with the epic of Gilgamesh. Four steps are think. I think I want to learn. I feel scared about that. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, I did learn something. I did create an acronym for the word hero because I really like acronyms. It's over here. It stands for Hardware Enhanced Resilience Operator. We'd rather you be one that learns faster and smarter on your journey, whatever it is that you're learning. To induce neuroplasticity is to set up a learner to have a better chance of retaining. Long-term potentiation is this physical change to neurons and neural pathways where they become very highly sensitive and ready to fire on a moment's notice, which is great, which means that the thing you've learned you can bring it up and do it, whether it's a physical skill or an idea that you want to adopt or information that you want to be able to produce and recall and bring up as needed. The way it works is over here, the neurons all talk to each other and have conversations across this space in between called the synapse. When you do the trigger to release chemicals in your brain to force you to learn faster like you did on 9-11, it makes a bunch more chemicals go between the synapses than it did before. And it also causes the neurons to actually grow additional dendrites. So what you're seeing here is a physical change to the hardware of your brain. This is learning, this is neuroplasticity in action, this is what it's about. The brain actually changes physically when the conditions are right, as described in all my other videos. And when it does, neurons grow new dendrites, have additional capability of sending neurotransmitting chemicals, and even more receptors to receive them. Physical change to neurons and neural pathways, where they become very highly sensitive and ready to fire on a moment's notice, which is great, which means that the thing you've learned, you can bring it up and do it, whether it's a physical skill or an idea that you want to adopt or information that you want to be able to produce and recall and bring up as needed. Quickly, I want to point out about this. I did draw it to roughly approximate the hero's journey that Bilbo or Luke Skywalker went on. The initial call to action where the hero is thinking about logically, I don't think I want to do that. That doesn't sound great to go off and battle the Empire. But then they have to anyway. And now the amygdala kicks in. That's why it's purple. You can see there's the amygdala drawn there and the hindbrain freaking out. I don't want to do this. I refuse the call to action. Then eventually they have to do it. So their hippocampus kind of takes over and starts saying, all right, we got to do this. What do we know? How can that help us to make it through? Let's make some associations. Let's do some learning. Let's make some memories. And then once they're making it out of this ordeal, after the dark, hard trial that they've just endured, the green part here represents the neocortex to which the learned lessons are permanently distributed and stored off in the long-term memory so that the hero can return to the world and do good. What are we looking to accomplish through this discussion? It is to increase your own internal locus of control, which is to say, be your own hero.